The situation in the Horn of Africa, I mean, uh, this is one of the worst drought in the history in that region. Uh, the estimation varies, but there is about 9 to 10 million people affected by this. Um, there is daily movement of people, especially from South Somalia into Kenya and Ethiopia. There is about 10,000 people daily registered going to Ethiopia, about 5,000 people uh, daily going to Kenya, uh, and that is the trend of it. So it is people who have lost their major socioeconomic activities, their animals. They are in the threat or risk of hunger and malnutrition. They are severely malnourished and they are living in camps in Ethiopia and Kenya. What is happening in the Horn of Africa is not really a surprise uh, to all of us in the humanitarian and development community. Um, uh, this is not it being triggered by the drought and the current situations of the drought, but it is predictable. We have been predicting that it's going to be dry this year, that's one factor. But all of us were quite aware about the root causes. I mean, the root causes of this are socioeconomic and political. This is specific groups of socioeconomic groups of nomadics who live across the countries of that region in Somalia, Kenya, Ethiopia, and Sudan. And whenever, because they live in so marginal socioeconomic and political system, whenever there is a shock, environmental shock like a drought, that brings them up to uh, this situation of desperate need. And now the other big factor also we should consider why is it happening in this scale this time. I think the conflict which is going on in that region, especially in Somalia, which is depriving um, those um, uh, a specific socioeconomic group to get integrated into the economic and um, political and social system uh, in these countries. So it is not a surprise for us. It has been predictable. It has been happening for a while. We know the root causes. We got enough information and early warning system that is going to be a drought. Um, and we have been preparing for that in actual fact to handle the short-term consequences and the long-term consequences of it. We in the Red Cross Red Crescent we have been well prepared in a sense that we have been doing analysis together with these communities. We launched emergency appeals for Kenya and Ethiopia. Um, unfortunately and sadly, both emergency appeals are not well funded. Uh, those emergency appeals are supposed to handle the basic needs, which is saving lives, but helping this uh, nomadic to recover better in the sectors of health and care, water and sanitation, uh, agriculture and food security. And um, so this is on the emergency side, on the um, short term emergency appeals. On the longer term plans, we have been planning with the National Red Cross Societies, Red Cross Red Crescent Societies in that region to have a five year plans to underline and to address the root underlying causes of this food insecurity. But again, sadly, both um, short-term plans and long-term plans are not well funded. I think um, it is um, all of this forgotten crisis or maybe the, what, what is called normally slow and safe disasters normally don't come on the screen of media and political decision makers. I think this is fundamentally the reasons. I mean, media never gave attention to Horn of Africa and what's going on that tells the nomadic start moving into camps in Kenya and Ethiopia. That's one point. Policy makers are long-term interventions. I mean, if you take all the governmental policy makers and people whom support and have the primary responsibilities of addressing the root causes of this crisis, socioeconomic, political, that has been also slow and been maybe overtaken by other priorities on the globe. Third reason I would say, I mean, in the globe there was number of emergencies. I mean, we have had Pakistan floods and few other big emergencies and that have taken um, most of the resources which would have gone to this situation in the Horn of Africa. We are, um, the short-term solution, what we are doing, I mean, we are delivering every day. I mean, the National Societies of Kenya Red Cross, Somali Red Crescent and Ethiopia Red Cross, we are delivering on the food sector. We are setting up some feeding programs for lactating and pregnant mothers in Ethiopia. Uh, we are setting some feeding in Kenya. We are involved in the water sections. We are tracking water. We are trying to work on the boreholes and making sure that there is enough water available for people and their animals. We are distributing non-food items. We are involved in the agriculture sector and distribution of seeds. We are involved in education and feeding 
in the school to make sure that children are not going to drop out of the schools. Um, so in the Red Cross Red Crescent, we are not, with all of the constraints of funding we are facing, we are not waiting and standing still. We are delivering every day the volunteers of Kenya Red Cross, Somali Red Crescent, and Ethiopia Red Cross are working on these camps with the refugees and the leaders and local government to try to deliver whatever little we can do to save lives and to save people to stand back on their feet. Uh, but I just wanted to repeat again, we would like to see um, a partners and donors to come forth to support our actions, daily actions, to help us to get these people out of uh, this emergency and crisis. But at the same time, combined with that, we would like to see support to take long-term action to address root causes of this emergency.